Well, we all know it's important to network, but there are a few networking mistakes you must avoid. Shanna Landolt is here with some help. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to be here today. We should talk a little bit about your experience here because you've been doing this a while. I have. I have more than 15 years of experience as a headhunter or executive recruiter, mm -hmm. and I I've placed hundreds of individuals in six-figure jobs. Nice. And so you have the experience and you've noticed some mistakes. So what are some of the big mistakes people are making? regarding networking? Well, the first major mistake, Gene, is to not network. So a lot of people will think they're employed, they love what they're doing, mm. and they think, I'm going to be here for a long time, and then all of a sudden something happens. So, for example, the company gets acquired or a recession happens like we've right. just you know, been through, and people are all of a sudden, they find themselves looking for work, mm -hmm. and they didn't expect it and didn't take the time to nurture those relationships. It, and it's interesting, 80% of jobs come from networking. Oh, wow. So what are some of the websites or places that people can go to network? Well, first of all, LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. If you're a business professional, LinkedIn is the number one place for you to network. But you can also network on other sites like Facebook or Twitter. But if you're in the business world or any kind of professional capacity, mm -hmm. LinkedIn is your best friend. And you were even talking about LinkedIn being a great resource, but it's only good if you use it properly. And I guess sometimes people leave off information. They do. One of the, the most important things about LinkedIn is you have to think like an HR person would think or like a recruiter would think. Mm. So if a, a recruiter is searching for someone, they'll put in specific keywords. So you want to make sure that your LinkedIn profile, particularly in the heading, has the correct keywords. Your mm -hmm. headline doesn't even have to have your title. LinkedIn will auto-populate it with your current okay. title, but you can actually change that so there's two or three words that would reflect exactly what you do. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure, for example, in the summary section, you have 2,000 characters. You want to use all of those 2,000 characters and just pepper it with the kinds of words or the kind of language that you would find specifically in your industry. So it's obviously you want to personalize it as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want it to look like everyone else's LinkedIn page. That's right. And one of the, the best ways to make sure that it doesn't look like everyone else's LinkedIn page is to go and Google the top most common words on LinkedIn. Huh. And if you do that, you'll get a list of 15 of the top most overly used words on LinkedIn. And then you can avoid those so you don't sound like everybody else. And that's a great resource because you're using Google to find out what everyone else is doing and don't do it, throw it out the window. That's right. Now you, you say, tell us about the mistake of having a messy digital footprint. What is that? Well, you want to remember when people go and Google you. So for example, if I was interviewing you for a mm -hmm. job, I would go on LinkedIn, I'd look, on, I'd look on your LinkedIn profile, but then I would go and Google you, and I'd just see what comes up. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll see your Facebook page if you're on Facebook. If there were community activities that you were involved in, I would see that. But I might also see some things that you're not so proud mm -hmm. of. So maybe you were at a party and somebody posted a picture that, uh, you know, where you were having a beer or a glass of wine. Right. And so you have to be careful what's out there on LinkedIn or out on your social media. So, for example, uh, about a third of employers say that they did not hire someone because of information that they found online. And, and I actually have had that happen, you know, with, for myself as a recruiter. Mm -hmm. There's people that I wanted to move forward with and then didn't. So what do you do in that case? I mean, do you, like, get rid of your Facebook account? I mean, how do you avoid that? You don't that have to get rid of your Facebook account, but one of the things that you can do is you can just clean it up. If somebody's posted a picture you don't like, ask them to take it down. Mm -hmm. And these are, I mean, it seems like common sense but a lot of people leave that stuff up and when it comes time to look for that job it could be a death sentence I before imagine. you look for a job one of the biggest networking mistakes is to have a messy digital footprint so go and clean it up before you do that all right now I know you have a lot of other tips so where can people go for more information they can go to linkedinsidersecrets.com all right fantastic great information for all those job hunters out there get working everybody that's right thank you so much